I never, never in my life that I expect I would go to China for a project. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know what, what they needed, what was happening. I just signed up to help. I became involved with the Solar Decathlon through the local union hall. At our monthly meeting, they said that Mr. Polytech was looking for some good Finnish carpenters. They needed assistance to put up their house to compete in a worldwide competition. The Solar Decathlon is all the premier engineering schools in the world compete for the right to actually present the home there. The goal of the competition is you need to put more electricity back into the grid than you consumed. The Carpenters of 107 constructed all the sunscreens and dressed up the atrium in the kitchen. They invited us to go there to reassemble it. Originally, it was like a 10-day invitation. The further we got into the project, it became a six-week invitation because you like to keep your team together and things are easier when you have a good team. I was a member of Team Bimini, which was Ghent University from Belgium, New York University Polytech, and Worcester Polytech. When these young people are energized, taking time out of their life to show up at this competition, you realize you're in a special place with a special group of people because they're young, they're energized, they're hungry, they want to compete. There were so many innovative ideas you never consolidate all of these ideas and try and really put something out there that uses the best of many ideas. For me, this experience was just so enriching because I met so many bright young minds that want to affect change in the world, whether they were from this country or from China or Sweden or Inner Mongolia. These people were from all over the world and they all had a common goal. I consider myself very fortunate that I was offered an opportunity for something that I thought was just going to be a three-day gig to go help someone put some sticks together. It just blossomed into something that I never saw coming.